this is Lainey Harvick from Harvick Farms as we're doing our series of houseplants. So here is one of our last houseplants and I left the best for last because it's the easiest. And so as you can see here we have one already in the pot and been propagating some here at the farm and to kind of show you what that would look like. So Snake plants, also known as Sansevier plants, also known as mother-in-law tongues. Um, so many different variations of what people have called them, depending on what part of the world you're from. And so these are very easy to take care of. They're great in your office. They're great in your home. As far as light requirements, they do thrive in indirect light and they can deal with a little bit of some low light conditions. They allow the soil to, to dry between the waterings Definitely in this situation, overwatering will lead to root rot. So, well draining soil will also help prevent. And so, just to take a look at this soil, um, you can see in my soil, I do utilize eggshells um, and put that in many of my house plants, and in addition to the garden and even outdoor plants, I repurpose this because it's a good calcium base. But as you can see here, you can see the little specks of some perlite that's in here. It's very fluffy. It does not clump. Good, well draining soil. They adapt to many different humidity levels. This is not one that you necessarily need to have by the sink or in your bathroom. They can be all over the house and in your office and do really well. They will feed sparingly, maybe once a month during their growing season, they don't need a lot and they're very easily propagated. And so as an example, kind of the final video in this journey, which will lead into the next series of propagation, it is here. You can see this, these particular ones have only been in this jar, this very fancy jar. This is the spaghetti jar that was cleaned out and sterilized. In this very fancy jar here, they were put in here four to six weeks ago. I did not put any root stimulating formula in their powder, nothing. This is water. And we are on a farm, so I will say it's well watered, just so you know what type of water I have. Um, and they have fantastic growth, root growth. You can see here, four to six weeks. I put that on a windowsill. Propagation galore, it's delightful. So this is definitely one, if you want to try propagation of a houseplant, very easy houseplant to take care of, very easy to propagate to get more. It's a, it's a great starter houseplant. We'll definitely lead into more conversations, but you can kind of see this V shape. I've seen that this has worked best when it comes to propagating snake plants is a V shape cut. It gives a little bit more surface area in order for roots to grow off of. So just to go over a little bit more information about the mother-in-law's plant is that it was also part of NASA's clean air study for air purifying qualities. Hence, this is why it's a wonderful plant to have in your office or your home. It is, like I said, known as mother-in-law's tongue, vipers, bowstring hemp, so many things. Um, historically, it's been used for medicinal and decorative purposes in, in many different cultures. It's very low maintenance, great for beginners. And in feng shui, it's believed to bring good luck and positive energy. He doesn't need more of that. So as far as the growth, they grow very slow. They are one of the slower houseplants to grow. The new leaves emerge from the center, from the old ones. And so this, for instance, is a new leaf here. It goes right from the center and out. So that's where you're gonna see the new growth. The older growth, as you can see, is the exterior leaves. Um, they are generally resilient to pests and disease. Yay! Another reason why they're just so easy and they're fantastic and you should just try it out. So feel free to leave comments below. Show any that you have. Ask any questions, leave comments. Definitely like, share and follow us. We really appreciate it. And I hope at the end of this series, you have been able to learn something new, have been inspired, and I hope we have all grown together. So once again, this is Lainey Harvick from Harvick Farms and join me for the next series. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe below for more videos.